our patient population here, they're very proud and they will not go to the ER. They die. Because they don't, they don't have the money to pay they it. No, they can't pay it. Well, Mac, if you want to come on back here and we'll get your, uh, okay. I want to take a look at that. You did a good service to our country, but it took yeah. a toll on your body, didn't it? Yeah, it sure did. I went to Vietnam in 1968. I was 19 year old. Seemed like some people got out of the going to the army on account of school, but I was in a technical school. I helped put a lot of my buddies in uh, body bags, and I put a little kid in a body bag that he was coming with a hand grenade, I guess, and it blowed up on him. I got having problems with my eyes and with my heart, and I had to go in the hospital. They uh, couldn't really find my nerves, and I was shaking and everything. And then later on, the veterans, I reckon, sued the government to come up with Agent Orange. We was out in the boonies. When they'd spray, our backs would get soaking wet, you know. I was going to the VA, and they kept telling me there wasn't nothing wrong. So I run into Paula, you know, their health wagon. She called me back the next day, said, uh, I gotta send you somewhere. So I went to Kingsport, and I had high aggressive prostate cancer. But the VA kept telling me, you're fine, don't worry about it. Come back in six months. But if I hadn't went to them, I probably wouldn't be here. I think anybody, if you walk into a hospital anywhere in the United States, you should be treated free because it's the United States, you know, it's the greatest country on earth. But they don't take care of our own people.